Well, hello, Golden Bears. Well, we've made it. We've made it for two full weeks now. So I'm very proud of each and every one of you. Faculty and staff are doing magnificently and you are doing great. And I thank you for what you're doing. Came, I went to the Bears Den today for lunch and I was so excited to see all of you. Got to talk with some of you. Classes seem to be going well. Uh, you all had your masks on unless you were eating. I saw people outside with their masks on and social distancing correctly. And I wanna tell you how proud I am of the job we're doing. Now we just need to continue. And that's part of the things. One of the things I wanted to say today is that some of the students we need to apologize to. We had a little bit of a glitch with our financial aid offices and I'm sorry that that happened. Uh, I think we've got it fixed. We're working on that to make sure that you can get there. And if we have students that are still having problems, make sure you reach out we're gonna make sure that we do this right. And if, you, if there was a mistake made, we will correct that. I wish I could tell you that's the only mistake we're gonna make, but it's not. Uh, this is new to us. We're learning how to do this and do this better. But uh, it is a mistake that we made and we wanna make sure the students know that you come first for us. You are so important to us on our campus. And uh, we, we'll move forward and see if we can do better in that. So. I also want to talk a couple of minutes about athletics. As you know, we're going to start with competition next week. Uh, we will have inter-squad uh, volleyball game and we will start with men's and women's soccer. Unfortunately, with everything that's going on, we have made a decision that there will be no spectators at the games. Now, this is not the way we want to do it but it is a way to do it to make sure that our students and our athletes get to continue their education and their athletic competition. So this year at this point, there will be no in seat or in person watching of those act activities. We will be streaming them and we wanna support our athletes. So every time you see an athlete, tell them how much you're proud of them and how much we want them to win, but win, lose, or draw, they're Golden Bears, and they're Golden Bears forever for us. So uh, it will be different, and we hope by maybe January, February, it will be different, and we can do different things and maybe at least have a, a small number of people there. But right now, for us to be able to finish classes and to do our athletic competitions, this is the way we have decided to go. If you decide to go someplace else, like to an away game, make sure you check because most of the venues and most of the games away, as far as we can tell, will be doing just what we're doing. There won't be spectators. So don't go out of your way to go someplace unless you know whether they're going to allow spectators or not. I also want to thank the faculty and the staff, faculty especially right now with this, for the wonderful way they have handled the seating charts and making sure that if we have an issue, out in the dorms or in this classroom or a student that we are able to do our tracing. So far, you all have done beautifully. So I wanna thank you for doing that. Now, one of the real things I wanna to talk to you about also today is the weekend. As we all know, this is the last weekend of summer and most of the time means we go out with our friends and we have a great time. We go to the lake or we go to the pool or we go someplace and barbecue families and friends. I'm hoping that you will remember that this time it needs to be a little different. This time we need to be very, very careful. If we are not and have not been around a group of people before that we know are social distancing, doing the right thing, then we shouldn't be with them right now because you can bring that back to yourself. You can bring it back to your family. You can bring it back to the fan, to our, our our faculty and students and our campus. We have done magnificently, especially compared to the rest of the world and looking around us, but we can very well fall off of that wall if we're not careful. So please, I want you to go out and I want you to enjoy your family and your friends, but let's do it responsibly. Let's remember you not only need to take care of yourself, you need to take care of the other people around you your family, your friends, your community. So let's make sure that we do this responsibly. 
I want each of you to make sure that you check in every day like we've been doing even during the weekends. Now, the only time we're gonna let you fly with that or, or get by with it is you're someplace where you don't have internet access. But if you have access, check in every day, even if you're not coming to campus. And don't forget that these are our friends this year. These are the things that will make the difference. So far, we've done magnificently. But again, as I said, we don't want to get lax and not do well, and then there'll be dire consequences. Golden Bears, it is such an honor to be your president. It is such an honor to be a part of this group of wonderful faculty, students, and staff. And so let's just continue to do well. Have a great weekend. Enjoy yourself, but do it responsibly. Thank you, and have a great day.